plane right now. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it. I can't believe people have been like crazy. I know, right? Mexico, Mexico. I think he's bidding live because I put a pre bid of 1500. So it's it's up bidding by itself right now, but I'm just like watching this in case you know. Yeah. Well, 12, 15, this guy. Come on, please, God. End at 12.50. I think it's yours, bro. Yes, dude. 12, it's a pure sell, right? So that's it? Yes, it's pure sell, so they gave it away right away. And just like that, guys, we are in the car picking up possibly just a, just a daily. So as of right now, there's no M cars on the market. But I decided, you know what? Back to my roots, I would save any BMW worth saving. And this is a 328. I kind of wanted to start off with a car that's kind of like one of the first cars we had on the channel. So this car, uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys remember, I had a 330i 2006 E90. Um, so this one is not exactly the same car, but it is an E90, which I really want to get back on the channel to at least kind of like bring back but maybe even better than we did the first time so yeah that is the goal of this build we're going to try to restore and we're going to try to do it on a budget so uh yeah we're going to be heading over to pick and pull uh like the good old days and just try to see if we can build this thing on a budget or is it going to cost us a lot for an older car so we ended up winning the car for about twelve hundred dollars i'm just going to round down to a thousand dollars for the title but yeah we got the car for twelve hundred dollars which is pretty awesome uh this is bought sight unseen so uh i really don't know if it's going to be a good buy or not but at the same time i mean hey this is the funnest stuff is buying those cheaper cars and just you know getting into it not knowing anything about it obviously i'm familiar with the platform but i feel like it's gonna be super exciting so without further ado let's head down the bank get that cashier's check head to copart and uh, pay for it and then figure out where this car is located at because it's not actually located at a main location it's located at a sublot which means it's somewhere else that i'm not really too familiar where it's at also i just sold the truck yesterday so we're gonna have to figure out about like we have to rent a truck and then rent a trailer we're gonna have to figure that out but I mean, what are the odds I just sold the truck yesterday? Got the check, guys. Let's head down to Copart. We got about a 15-minute drive. Not too shit. guys i just got the text i'm gonna go ahead and head inside pay for the car and see where this car is exactly and where we have to pick it up and who we need to call and if we need to get a truck tonight we need to see what's going on right now i did find a guy that's actually selling a truck as well so we found a build i might have to pick it up tomorrow and i might be picking up a truck later today so we'll see the plan exactly but uh yeah pretty excited stuff here i'm finally you know making some bigger moves on the channel i think it's financially the better moves getting a cheaper truck but can still tow getting some cheaper builds and making them crazy and rebuilding them and going back to those roots i'm really really like this stuff is really exciting for me because i love getting an older car and just making it perfect there's nothing better than that especially by getting you know we can get a bunch of things on ebay nowadays with uh, with the older cars there's literally parts everywhere all over the internet for it um for the cars like these guys like literally just getting like a dashboard for these cars are thousands and thousands of dollars unlike the e90s you can literally get an entire body kit for like a couple hundred bucks so it's pretty crazy it's gonna be pretty fun and i already have some wrap ideas for the car as well i might be going a little crazy anyway i gotta head inside before uh, they, they, they miss call me but i gotta go so uh i'll catch you on a little bit and just like that guys we are back in the car we have new paperwork that shows where the car is at it is located in modesto so from here it's about an hour and 40 minutes one way so um we do have three days to pick up the vehicle uh if i was to pay a tow truck driver i'd be paying around four to five hundred dollars to get this car here uh at least according to my tow truck drivers so um yeah give a few calls i'm not trying to pay four to five hundred dollars if i could put that towards a truck and then just rent a trailer for 65 bucks we'll go ahead and do that so the goal is to go buy the cheapest truck i could possibly find i'm gonna go ahead and do some research tonight i'm gonna go ahead and do some research right now if i can find a truck hopefully in the next video we'll be picking up one of the cheapest trucks with towing capabilities and uh for i mean i guess for the best value i mean obviously this truck's for a couple thousand bucks like two three thousand super old probably has a million issues i'm still gonna be looking for something kind of more in the newer side but like maybe 10 to 15 years not like 20 to 25 years if you guys know what i mean so yeah that is my goal i'm gonna try 
try to find one like that, one with possibly a four by four, uh, so I have the option to ever, ever go four wheel drive if I need to. Um, now, if it's a crew cab, preferably, but I mean, at this point, I'm not gonna be too picky. If it has leather seats, I, I preferably, but I'm not gonna be too picky. So anywho, all right guys, so we were actually we were just driving and I just ended the phone call. Uh, somebody just called me about their truck. Uh, this is a super high mileage truck, but very well taken care of, and it is the exact spec that I want. It's a four by four, so uh, yeah, that's perfect. It's an 09. I think I, I think I told you guys about this a little bit uh, a while ago, uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good truck. Cosmetically, uh, not the best. Uh, mileage, 240,000 miles. Title, clean title, thankfully. Um, so that's you know a good thing. And he's only asking 10,000, so I got him down to 8,000 just because of the mileage and the cosmetics, and he was okay with that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and meet up with them. Hope for the best. Let me go ahead and get in contact with my wife and hopefully we'll be driving back with a new truck today. So I'm pretty excited, guys. the truck honestly so when we first approached it i don't know why but the pictures made the truck look amazing he literally took angles of everything that was good like he didn't show the left side which had scratches and paint chips and everything he didn't show the back which had a bunch of paint chips he didn't show the driver's seat which is completely torn he didn't show the roof which was sagging he didn't even say that the buttons the buttons every button you click it does the opposite thing the side mirrors don't work like guys if i haven't seen a hoopty in a ford in like my life but i mean what else the wheels when you turn them they're rubbing and he's like that's just you know there's just the wrong tire size i mean i mean possibly but i was like whatever and then we pulled up to a light the second light and it just started misfiring like crazy and then i, I looked up the code i brought a code reader and it said camshaft position sensor in bank one and bank two so i did some research on it and 50 percent of the comments uh, on people are saying could be just the sensor 50 percent say it could be the engine and the fact that you know honestly i know nothing about the truck i'm betting it's an engine so we had to walk away and the fact that i actually negotiated from he had it for 10. we said eight over the phone i came here offered him five and he accepted and i was like okay the fact that you accepted means that there is a major issue so that's another way for me to check somebody like hey if i offered him five and he knows it's you know it just came up and it's something small he won't accept that you know so just one way to check if somebody's lying and unfortunately he was and i was pretty excited to pay literally dumb cheap for a truck and you know make a little fixer upper on the channel but i'm not i'm not trying to lose money if you guys know what i mean so Eddie hill we are in the area of woodland right now and actually there's a dealership right over here that has a red truck uh like similar to ours but a two-door so uh yeah you can see right there it's right on the lot actually they got a bunch of trucks so i guess we're just gonna go truck shopping right now so uh let's see what happens just pulled up guys i believe this is the one uh kind of reminds us not as nice of a red as ours but definitely a red truck looks looks a lot better than the one we just looked at <laughs> um and yeah let's just check it out i don't know what that flag is for but um yeah it is a four x four which is what i've been looking for it is manual seats but it is power everything else manual seats three row one owner which is nice and it looks really clean all right let's go ahead and check it out i'll get back to you guys in a minute we just left that dealership unfortunately i mean fortunately the, the truck was amazing like me and my wife me and my wife really liked it it was it wasn't a ruby red like our truck it was just like a flat one stage paint red but still looked pretty good normally when you get a truck that's not white it typically doesn't look like a straight work truck um it, it drove amazing um it just for for a v8 uh it was a 4.7 liter it was actually very underpowered and uh, after looking doing a little bit of research on it um it's a 2010 and those actually have transmission issues um and the max tow capacity is 5500 pounds that's not even going to cut it if i was to put this on a trailer down to the track and uh you know you haul trailer it's not going to cut it so uh obviously i don't want to push that car already knowing that it could have transmission issues let alone the high mileage so the search continues hopefully we find something better um in our local area that, that dealership was literally right next to that truck that we just saw the first one so we decided to just you know win both of them while we we're in the area so it worked out but yeah unfortunately we didn't get a truck today hopefully we get a truck tomorrow we need to get a truck as soon as possible it would be best if we can get a truck and actually get that car from copart so uh yeah without further ado let's just catch you guys when we get back to the house 